in negotiating an outcome. At his 2017 confirmation hearing, only one senator asked Alexander Acosta questions about his plea deal with Jeffrey Epstein. What we presented at the very, at the very beginning was two years plus registration. He was duly confirmed as Donald Trump's labor secretary. Two years later, if he refuses to resign, President Trump should fire him. That deal now has top Democrats in Congress calling for Acosta's head. Instead of prosecuting a predator and serial sex trafficker of children, Acosta chose to let him off easy. As a federal prosecutor in Miami, Acosta allowed Epstein to plead to minor charges for solicitation instead of the more serious federal charges of sex trafficking. Epstein only served 13 months in jail, much of it free on day leave. The case never went to trial, and dozens of victims who'd gone to police were never told why. Now that plea deal is being reviewed by the Justice Department for misconduct. Today, Acosta tweeted in his defense. With the evidence available more than a decade ago, federal prosecutors insisted that Epstein go to jail, register as a sex offender, and put the world on notice that he was a sexual predator. Now even some Republicans are asking uncomfortable questions. If this plea deal doesn't withstand scrutiny, then it would be a job of the Judiciary Committee to find out you know, how it got off the rails. Donald Trump, meanwhile, defended Acosta today, saying he felt bad for him. He's been a great really great secretary of labor. Uh, the rest of it we'll have to look at. We'll have to look at it very carefully. Trump was even forced to defend his own reputation since Epstein was at one time a friend whom Trump called a terrific guy. I don't think I've spoken to him for 15 years. Uh, I wasn't a fan. Trump supporters say the focus of any investigation should be on Epstein, not Acosta. Democrats insist it is possible to do both. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.